Today's video is going to be about one of those guys who will probably remind you of that uncle you had who you loved very dearly but had a tendency to start fires when drunk and who your parents told you to stay away from. Well, he's kind of like that uncle, except if the uncle also wanted to stab prostitutes. Maybe that still applies to some of your uncles, I don't know. So, without further ado, let us get into the crazy nest of vipers that is the Stigma Dane. That's his actual name. That's... I'm guessing that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. He has long hair, beard, so, you know, he's, he's, he's so fucking rock. So everything's gotta be said like this, I assume. Anyway, let's get to it. This is a message for... Oh my god, he's a wizard. V for Vogter 2100. You know, it's funny that you start off by mentioning V for Vogter 2100, because to me, on your physical appearance, it kind of looks like V for Vogter 2100 had some kind of evil brother, possibly called Thaddeus, who spent his day locked in the basement saying, Why? Why must he be the one who is loved? And over time became extremely bitter and insane. And you can see where this is going, can't you? I bet you can. I bet you can. Felita the Geek, and for anyone fighting for the freedom of whores. I, uh, I, I don't like the way you just said whores then. I mean, I don't really like the word, but there's, there's something about the way you said it. I'll just check the old book on, uh, pronunciation. It's very useful. Okay. Now, worse. Gone too far. Back a bit, back a bit. Ah, whore. When said as whore, Especially by unkempt older men who slightly resemble necromancers. This usually implies a subtext whereby the uh, speaker is projecting hatred of a maternal figure. Usually this ends in the graphic murder of several prostitutes whose bodies are only found weeks later. It's a very insightful book. I gave Wagner an entire video page of comments. Because, as we all know, volume is what counts. VOLUME! He asked me to explain. I gave him comment after comment. I explained to him how Catholicism was wrong. How all organized religions are wrong. Wow, I'm, uh, I'm kind of with you on that one, being an atheist. I mean, all organized religions are wrong in, to some degree because they make ludicrously specific claims about a complex and, as to yet, yeah, largely uh, unexplored universe. I'm sure that's the reason you think that they're invalid too, right? Nah, probably not. Except for the benevolence and the purity of the teachings of Jesus Christ. Yes, because if one examines the New Testament, it becomes quickly apparent that Jesus had absolutely no time whatsoever for prostitutes and shunned them entirely, did nothing to help them, couldn't stand them just did everything he could to get in the way and oppose them, you know. Um, it's it's all right there in the book, you know. Uh, shortly after he punched Mary Magdalene in the gut, he uh, actually went onto a whorehouse and burnt the down with a Molotov. That was during his heroin years, though, to be fair. I gave him the simplicity of salvation. He still denied it. Just because something's simple, it doesn't mean it's good. When somebody says to me that I've got a choice between subjecting myself to the will of a malevolent, most likely non-existent entity and burning in a pit forever, which also most likely doesn't exist be at all, that's, that's simple, but it's not really a good choice. I'm going to stop using logic now. And not only did he deny it, you mean a man who doesn't believe in God or the Holy Trinity or any uh, any supernatural element of Christianity rejected a supernatural choice? That's unreasonable bastard. He acted like a child. Because we should all be more mature and take a page out of your book or a book out of the many volumes that you possess and just have a blanket approach that all prostitutes are evil products of a fallen angel. Because that is a reasonable, reasonable request. Why can't they understand? Why can't they just grasp such a simple and obvious fact? They're all plotting against you. He jumped to conclusion after conclusion every time. He misjudged me every time. 
and for the reason of him wanting to kiss for the horror community. If he was kissing a horror wouldn't he be kind of paying for it? And then it'd all be above board and legitimate, so it's not really your problem, you know? Oh, you were speaking figuratively. Um, defending people's rights doesn't really mean that you're kissing their ass. It just means that you're standing up for equality. Although, again, of course, something Jesus was completely opposed to, you know? He, he was totally against uh, respecting and loving people regardless of their circumstance and judging them purely uh, by their acts. And, you know, um, he, he, was, he was also uh, specifically for condemning people purely because of who they were. You know, this is, this is all very well documented stuff about Jesus of Nazareth, you know. It's all there. You just gotta read it with enlightened eyes. That wants to legalize prostitution in the United States and turn the United States into one big whorehouse. Kind of like when they re-legalized alcohol, the United States became one huge brewery. Children walk down the streets and become intoxicated by the fumes spewing out from the huge cesspit of evil that is America's depravity. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to connect with you on a mental level. Fuck you, Wagner. I am spreading a Christian message of hatred and disgust. Charles Nelson Riley. Because that's what Jesus tells me to say. Charles Nelson Riley. I am going to repeat my sentiment because once again, volume makes things valid. Valid, I say. I am so glad you're not a U.S. citizen. I am so glad. And conversely, there are multitudes of people out there who are horrified that you are an American citizen. Whores want to legalize your immorality, your unnatural act of selling your body. <laughs> Excuse me, unnatural. You're conversing with people without physically being anywhere near them and they can see you. Please explain to me how that is natural. Really? If, if we were all perfectly natural at the moment, this conversation wouldn't be happening. We'd be taking turns clubbing each other with a giraffe bone and raping people. Perfectly natural! <laughs> oh yeah, wait, natural doesn't mean good, does it? It just means natural. What the f*** is wrong with you? Pots. Kettles. Insane people. Focus your mind, boy. That is up beyond all recognition. And for you not to see a problem with that means that you are up beyond all recognition. Once again, preaching Christ's message brilliantly. Because as we all know, he said, disregard the plank in your eye to point out the splinter in your brother's. Wise words from Jesus. Wise words indeed. And again, to be found most implicitly stated in the New Testament. So and whores can run to your pimp daddy, Wagner, and you can tell him, I shake the dust off, and I move on. Yo, I just realized you're a Jesuit and you're saying all of this stuff. Did you ever work at a summer camp for kids, telling them about the evils of prostitution? I, I'd love to picture that. And I can! I'm gonna kill all the whores, all the whores, all the whores. I'm gonna kill me all the whores, cause Jesus tells me to. I'm gonna stab them in the guts, in their guts, in their guts. I'm gonna stab them in their guts, cause Jesus tells me to. I'm gonna wear their skin like coats, their skin like coats, their skin like coats. I'm gonna wear their skin like coats, cause Jesus tells me to. Any requests, kiddies? <laughs> he is unreasonable. And he's a kiss. He has.
is no truth in value of the freedom of rights. Yeah, he has no value of the freedom of rights, you know, absolutely hates free speech, never does anything to converse with people with opposing views, Hate, hates rights and choices, you know, he, he hates rights so much that he's trying to give rights to prostitutes. That's how much he hates rights. He's trying to give rights to everybody. That's how much he hates it. He's being ironic, you see. Like, like, if, like, like, like if Hitler said, I like Jews, you know. Actually, actually, Vogta hates rights. I mean, yeah, it looks like, you know, he's standing up for rights. But really, what he's doing by defending people's rights is taking away yours. It's a whole conspiracy, man. You can see it, I can see it, but they can't see it. They can't see it, can they? He is very well against it. What about the freedom and rights of those of us that oppose America becoming a whorehouse? Oh, you mean such as your right to complain about it loudly as protected by the amendments, which you're totally not exercising right now. Uh, also, your democratic right to vote against the legalization of things like prostitute, which again, again, in, in America, a democratic country, will never happen. I mean, it's not like prostitution was already illegalized at all. Yeah, you see through the lies, don't you? You are a pinnacle of purity. What is wrong with you people? Have your brain shifted? You are the most unreasonable of them all. Yeah, you should be more reasonable, like this guy. You should be so reasonable that you just completely shun an entire group of people based on religious faith. That's, that's what it means to be reasonable. Why can't you understand it, Vogta, you bastard? Sorry. Sorry, again, I'm I'm trying to relate to him. It's it's kind of got this infectious quality to it. It's it's a bit scary. Kind of like the guy himself. <laughs> and for you atheists, what's up? That like to say we Christians believe in a sky daddy. That is a straw man tactic. Well, not really. I mean, because God is described as the Father. He's implicitly stated as having created us, and that we are his children and he is our father. And actually, uh, in the earliest days of Judaism and even Christianity, God was actually described as residing in the sky. So one could say he was, in fact, very much pictured as a sky daddy. It's, it's just a description. It's not really an argument, it's just saying what is already stated by your little band camp. Don't really know what else to add to that. Oh yeah, you're still insane. <laughs> For you to set up false dichotomies and then scream at us claiming we do the same. That means you're a hypocrite. Well, it would be if Vogt's actual argument for the legalization of prostitution was that you believed in a Sky Daddy, therefore you didn't get to vote on it and should have no rights in it, although that's not actually his argument, is it? He's just laughing at you as he makes his argument. It always scares me when people like you try to use logical debate. It's, it's kind of conflicting with your whole worldview, you know? I'm done with you all because you are ignorant. And my final message goes to the laughing out. I'm calling you out. You lover of whores, aider of Babylon, king of Seldom. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's like the dark side. It creeps up on you bit by bit. It's this guy has got charisma. The long p pregnant pauses which pretentiously try and portray him as a deep thinker aside and the complete insanity and the fact that he resembles Bill Oddie after a three-month smack binge. 
just add to the power and captivating nature of his his holy word. Truly, he is an enlightened soul. You're Sparta! Real men have deep-seated and unsettling hatred of people that they have nothing to do with. That's how you act like a real man. And whilst we're at it, I'm, I'm going to have to touch upon this. You, you're against the prostitute people, but wasn't it you yourself who sent that really creepy, lewd personal message to Divinity, who is an ex... Uh, pole dancer, exotic dancer, I believe. And whilst we're on the subject, doesn't that kind of make you a hypocrite? I mean, that is an implicit case of double standards, right? Maybe I've been infected to too much of a degree by your own craziness, although I'm seeing something of a, 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 a lack of sanity here, is basically what I'm trying to say. Yeah. For you to slander me in the comments because I blocked you because you harassed me and mocked me. Because God forbid anybody ever mocks a man who believes that anybody, anybody who thinks differently than him will burn in hell forever. That's so unreasonable. He should take his hellish punishment and be glad of it that a man as pure and as righteous as you even Deigned, even fucking deigned, to grace him with your presence. Truly you are the king of kings. Let us all focus on the laughing out. The moron of all atheists. I hate to be a stickler for grammar, but shouldn't that be the most moronic of the atheists? You know, just if you're gonna take the whole intellectual route, you could try and do it properly.